I get it. Um, all right, so I keep seeing this May play on Reddit and stuff and Twitter even. I'm not sure how good it is. I like Lunatic High running defensive May if that's what they're going to commit to because I think Esco's having a rough night. All right, I think Esco feels like he's having a rough night. I don't know if they feel like they had a rough night on Hanamura. Like, I don't know who they blame on Hanamura. I think some teams have, like, weird, just, like, you watch this VOD back and, like, you'll listen to me talk, right? And you'll be like, oh, Lunatic High's composition can't actually win the map. But, like, Lunatic High definitely felt like they could win the map there. Or they thought that they had, like, a chance or, like, some reason to believe that it was going to work. But in retrospect, like, I don't know why or how. So... That's like what I like. That's what's weird to me, I guess, when it comes down to like team questioning their or teams questioning their decisions or like wondering what went wrong. Like, do they are they aware? Um, I guess it's team for team. But it's very strange. So Winston Genji Diva, this is super tank. Are they running a single healer? I don't hate it. I think single healer is really good, but I don't like that they don't have a roadhog. Stop. Chill, I already played with you. Use this one. You're gonna play with me right now. Use the one that doesn't squeak. Are they running single healer? I don't know if this is committed. Medathene is running defensive Sombra again as a DPS hero instead of a support. I don't like this. Or offensive? This is offensive rather, I lied. So single healer defense, which I really like, versus Sombra. And they just kill Jay Hong instantly. That's like that should be fine, or like that should be GG, as long as nobody dies right now. But they're committing super hard and dying anyway. I think that they should have just committed on Jay Hong and then gotten out or like regrouped because there was no heals actually at all for Lunatic High except for a heal station from Who Are You. But this is a very NVS comp. But I, I do think that there's a reason like you would want the Roadhog. I don't know how they plan on healing the Reinhardt, Diva, Zarya, May. With Justin Anna, like the reason why you run the Hog generally instead of the Zarya or instead of the Divas, because he can self-sustain. But this is a lot of pressure on Jay Hong. Stop. So they get in for free with the wall. But again, is this really that good? Let's see. Like I'm not, I'm not sure how good this actually is. Okay, so they go for the flank, but the card's rolling back this whole time. So is it really that good? Probably not. I mean, I like the way that Lunatic High is responding to this. They back up through the choke. But realistically, they shouldn't even try to push up it. If you're Lunatic High, you should actually just die here. Like, you're completely fine if you're Lunatic High. The card's literally still rolling back. Like, only now is it going to start swapping. The only mistake I think that they made here was Toby not going high ground earlier. But I think it's because Toby's not really a D.Va main. I think that someone should have been high ground the entire time there. Like, they got picked off, actually, because no one was there. But, um, you definitely should not be able to get swarmed there. I think someone definitely should have went high ground in retrospect, and I think Lunatic Sakai, like, will agree, but, like, hindsight is twenty twenty, right? Like, they didn't really know what to do. I don't think that they've seen that play before. I don't expect them, but that play wasn't really that good. Uh, realistically, I think Lunatic High could have just sat in the choke and waited for Graviton, but they needed someone on the high ground. Side players are going to get that cap. Lunatic High did a decent job of not using ults, but I feel like they're kind of lost now. They're like, oh god, what do we do? Because there's like this kind of impending doom feeling where they know that eventually Hoon and Libero are going to get combo. But Lunatic High pops Graviton Blizzard here? Okay. They didn't do much though, because the cart didn't wasn't moving there. I question that decision actually, as to why they did that. They actually didn't gain much from that. Side player dies there, but he kills Jaehong 100% worth. They're still all right, now they finally switched to Lucio, right? But um They don't have a Reinhardt, that's a very good play from Chongsik. That Graviton Blizzard needed to be used like now-ish? Like they should have just played around that. They didn't need to commit to that fight. That was a really that was a big mistake actually from Lunatic High, or like bigger than they normally make in terms of alt usage. The cart was still in the doorway and they popped the Graviton Blizzard combo and now Meta Athena still has Blizzard. I mean, they didn't pop the Graviton with it, but they didn't actually stall the cart out like for any legitimately good amount of time for the amount of alts and like the strength of the alts that they just committed to that fight. So they immediately switch off the Zarya end off of the Mei and now they're running against Zarya Mei. 
Again, generally, you would run a Farah against this. And Lunatic High just does not run Farah. So I really do like the swap for Libero to go May. I think Libero's like... Libero's Hero Pool is actually insane, but... The idea to go May against this team is really good. Just because you know that they're just never going to run Farah against you. Oh my god. You get charged? Is he dead? What happened here? So they do kill Esk at the end. They do kill Who Are You. Somehow Jae Hong is going for like this flanking Ana play. This is ridiculously bizarre. Um, and they're still not running a Reinhardt on Lunatic High. So Bedathina is just gonna win. Like I don't, I don't see any. Libro's so good. He just hit like three shots, and that's a very good way to play me right there. Actually, he hit two shots on the Diva out of suit, and then air shot the Winston. But Chongsik can just pop Bolt whenever he wants, and there's not much Lunatic High can do. But again, I don't. Lunatic High does look really lost on this map in particular. I don't I don't know. Like if I were to bet right now who would win next week, I'd say Runaway, just based off how Lunatic High looks on these maps. But I don't know why Lunatic High is opting for a Reinhardtless comp. Like, okay, Miro's good, but at Winston, but like at that point, like let Eska play Reinhardt or something. Like you need a Reinhardt. Chunk Six literally just gonna hit Q and they're gonna get plowed. And these rotations are so weird because like they just conceded high ground, but Chunk Six is gonna have free reign right now to hit a three or four man Earth Shatter, and I don't know how they plan on stopping it. As long as they hit like one or two people with a Shatter, the fight's over. I'm waiting for Chunk Six to hit it. Good sound barrier. Chunk Six slept right now, so that's a big problem. Libero realistically can do so much work against the Diva and against the Winston. By a player flank alt dies to his own right click. Chongsik still has not ulted, and like that's really bad for Lunatic Eye because they're still wait like they still have this sound barrier or not this still sound barrier this Earth Shatter to like work with. At any point in time, they can Earth Shatter. Good defense, I guess. Huge play, that, and I saved it. Like that's really smart. I think more Reinhardt should actually do that, and like not enough do. This plays. This team is actually very good. I mean, like when you see them play this map and last map, it's very apparent that they're like very well coordinated and that they have a very good idea of what's going on. But saving the Earth Shatter there for the Dragon Blade was in, like super intelligent. But again, I think it has a lot to do with Lunatic High not running Reinhardt, um, not being able to run Farah, never running Roadhog. Like, Lunatic High is getting, like, exposed, I guess. I don't know if that's the right word. You know, or I guess it's kind of the word. Abused? Um, I don't know what the correct word is for, like, taking advantage. They're, they're, like, having... Bleh. They're taking advantage of Lunatic High's lack of ability to swap to, like, good heroes because they're, like, afraid to swap or something like yeah they're getting exploited that's the word i meant thanks chat sorry for bad in glondo but yeah them not running roadhog reinhardt or farah is a huge problem and it's definitely why this match looks so one-sided why is he going for right clicks just freeze him I need to swallow them in the choke. Chong sick with the ults. Again, who's gonna block that shatter? Like Mira's doing a good job of selling the cart, but it's like okay, you're just feeding Hoon more ult. Mira did a really good job here, actually. And that's like the that's like the ideal usage for a primal rage on defense. It's just like your team's dead. Pop primal rage. Give them time to respawn. I mean, he didn't even die either. That's the big deal. They're gonna lose here, but I mean, it's the same thing, right? Like most teams don't even get the second point, or like let alone the third of Dorado. So them getting to like sneezing distance of the map end is very good. I mean, you can be proud of that push. I think if you were Meta Athena. But I'm I'm surprised Lunatic High feels like good about that. You know, like that didn't really feel good. Or it didn't like look good. And I don't know why Libero went for right click kills on the Lucio when he like realistically could have just left clicked them and killed them instantly. But Libero plays May more like a right click hero, I guess, instead of abusing the left click. That was bizarre. I don't know. Whatever. Play styles are play styles, but he hits his right click, so I guess generally. 
stalling all out the cart. But yeah. I mean, when Liberty... just the Chongsik advantage is huge because Chongsik just having Earthshatter whenever he needs it, and there's no way for it to get blocked is like very big. Like you said, pop that ice block early was very vulnerable despite the ults that were coming out. Where he was able to get in the back line, and Mira was a hero. Truly, he was. So Meta Athena, are they going to run Kuhn on the May? Usually the Libero pick. Probably not, but you never know, I guess. Kuhn has played Roadhog before, but maybe they're just a little bit more comfortable with Libero on the Roadhog. And looks like we will have Hoon on the May this time. Uh, Hoon has played uh, May for <laughs> Hoon has played May for a total of three minutes in his uh, professional career. So not a pick you see. Did, this guy did on play a little bit today. Oh, a little bit. Okay, so is, is sure. Diana going to be able to get up onto oh. that bridge? Oh. oh. They you have to do it from the other side. That. Goodbye. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, it was just for the boost. They have to go back. Oh. Couldn't get the actual boost, and they need the Lucio to taxi yeah. before. There's a way to do it, but it's not from that side. I don't know. Maybe they've seen it work from that side, or maybe there's like a weird ledge you can lip on, but. Surprised they went for that? Or I'm surprised they went from that angle? You're supposed to like go around from the back. All right, so I'm assuming this isn't going to stay on. I mean, they're running double sniper, but this is probably just a scout, I guess. <laughs> is Toby going to stay here? Okay, nope. So it's just Lucio just goes for the initial pick. They're opting for the Zen again. Just go Anna, man. Back to the dive composition that they've been yeah. running this whole time. They're not switching anything up, really. Staying on the heroes that have served them well so far. They're going to run into the same problem that they ran into before with finishing the map. Like, even if they do somehow get through the choke and get all the kills, they don't have the best way to get team wipes on the third point, and that's, like, a huge problem. I mean, realistically, they can switch, but... Chunksa can just swing for free because there's no fear in him, I guess? That's because aim goes from like really bad to really good all of a sudden. It's kind of weird actually. His tracking just like turns on. I mean, they're just out deathmatching them here, which is really good. But they're running like a very snowball y comp. And realistically, the dive is good because even if you get trades, you're, they're all running heroes that can get back to the fight pretty fast. I mean, except for Jay Hong, I guess. But it's a good play from them. But I still think they're going to run into the same problems that they ran into before, where their composition just doesn't finish the map. Asuka going for this flank. Hoon's on Zarya, though. I like that Hoon's on Zarya. It's good against Genji. It's good against Winston. Good against D.Va. Good against Pulse Bomb. Protects Chongsik better. Um, nice Pulse. Nice Pulse. Kills the Lucio. Cart's still moving. Life's good right now for Lunatic High. Meta thing is to stop the cart, though. And probably take a bad fight just to do so. Maybe Nano Boost Hoon, Nano Boost Chongsik if you have to. Eska's playing really well right now, actually. A long flank and it pays off. So Nano Boosted Hoon. Hoon went from like 30 to 60% ult. Forces out Jae Hong's trans. That's a huge mistake. I don't know why Jae Hong trans. Even if Jae Hong died, there was no real way for them to lose this fight. Is it gonna get out? It looks like nope. Eska's playing really well. His tracers turned up. Who's defending the cart right now? Soundbarry comes out from high. Lunatic high. Lunatic Soundbarry comes out from Chris. With pulse bomb, he needs to get more done here on this tracer. But who's gonna have grab soon? And that's what you're afraid of, actually. I'm not sure what just happened. I guess Chongsik shattered and killed like four, three or four people or something. I wonder, I'm going to go back just because I, actually I'm not going to go back, but I wonder if they had times three the entire time, because I think if they had times three, they might have actually finished the map there. I'm actually flabbergasted that they didn't cap there, because I would have bet money on it, but I think Jae Hong popping that trans was a huge mistake. I think they needed it at some point else, and it wound up just going for this one, doing with the hog. Not going for the health pack, though. His existence is annoying, but again, who knows Graviton? This next fight should be Meta Athena's. Or use Dragon Blade getting dealt with by Chongsik. That's actually so big of a play from him. 
Trade, trade, trade. Saya player versus the world. Big Anna nuke right there, actually, from Noose. Hits like two or three people, and they're going to clean up off of that. Eska needs to get more kills. Like, he hasn't really clean. He hasn't done anything since that flank on the high ground. Um, where he hit the pulse bomb and then chased Zarya out. And it's actually hurting them pretty bad right now. Because, again, their composition doesn't wipe. Like, their composition does not get clean teamfights. You need to snowball. Like, their composition was completely based on snowballing. They needed, like, that cart to cap. They needed to, like, keep going into third. Um, but their stubbornness on their heroes is actually hurting them so much right now. Because not having Reinhardt for Shatter... Like, okay, you pop trans now. Hoon's just going to build so much ult now. He can just literally click on anybody. And they won't die, and he'll give them ult. Um, but Eska just killed Hoon. So that's a big play, actually, that he kills the Zarya there. I'm looking for Chongsik, so we, they get out, okay, well played. I mean, Jaehong initiated with Trans, but I didn't think was going to work. But at the same time, Metathena didn't have any defensive ults, so as long as they got a kill during the Trans, it was probably fine. Snowball, snowball, snowball. Don't look like they know what to do, Noah. Sure seems that way, doesn't it? I, they're playing. They were playing the right things for a lot of this map. They were playing McCree. They were playing Roadhog, but they weren't able to actually contain the uh, Esco's tracer. Yeah. Well, they've got one last chance. I don't think Esco's tracer was the problem here at all. I don't think they've had any problem containing him. I think Esco's been playing questionably. It's just like when you snowball his tracer, you snowball his tracer. If there's nothing on the map that can kill you, you're not going to die. That's pretty much Overwatch. Hoon's getting this grab, though. Good grab. Jaehong has ult already, which is pretty insane, but Miro does die. And the sound barrier comes out from Chris to counter the Dragon Blade. So, who are used Dragon Blades have done absolutely nothing this map. And that's, like, as a result of actually really good play from Meta Athena. But at the same time, he doesn't have Nano Boost. Like, if he had Nano there, like, they win the fight. Was the Trans really that good? Like, I question the Transcendence. <sighs> Hoon's already back at 40%. Grav, Chongsik's gonna have ult soon. If Chongsik gets ult, and then, like, if they can... What's the word? If they can cycle Graviton and Earth Shatter, then they're in really good shape. You don't really want to pop them both at the same time, but if they're able to get, like, a good Earth Shatter, and then a good Graviton, and another good Earth Shatter, then they're in, like, they can win the game pretty easily. Because, again, there's no Reinhardt for Lunatic High. Like, they're completely relying on Who Are You and Eska to get kills, and even, like, Zumba and Miro to do work, but I think New Suzanne is playing super well. And they're like overloading him right now, but no kills from the pulse. Like they're overloading the supports, and that's kind of like their game plan. Um, Zumba does kill the Ana, but there's the Shatter. And now Zoon's uh, Zoon, Hoon rather is gonna get Graviton soon. And they don't even have a shield for the what's it called, the McCree. Like having no Reinhardt versus McCree is actually so hard too. Well played from Saya player. He did so much damage there. And you see what I mean? Like, Chongsik popped the... Chongsik getting the Earth Shatter off was actually, like, super game-winning there. And then it actually helped Hoon get his Graviton. So now, Metathene is in a really good spot. Lunatikai really can't finish the map. But they're, like, running almost the exact same comp they ran last map. And they're having the exact same problem. Like, they can't, cle they can't like, finish the map with their composition. They can get to the end, but... Getting there is only half the battle, right? The Earth Shatter always comes out. I'm, I am surprised that Metathene is opting for the D.Va instead of the Roadhog. Because it's actually the exact same scenario. Like, if they had a Roadhog to get one pick or, like, get one kill or whole hog against the Dragon Blade, it's really game-winning. Jaehong's gonna have Trans, they have Graviton, Sound Barrier. Everyone's just gonna hit Q here, but, again, Lunatic High getting a team wipe is pretty far-fetched, I think. Everyone popping all, everyone popping all. The Transcendence actually came out before the Graviton, and that's a huge Graviton Earth Shatter combo. Chunksik's shield was like full health the entire game, because like, what do they have to deal with shields? Nothing, D.Va? Like, it's well played, but again, Lunatic High really, really shooting themselves in the foot by not running Jaehong on arguably his best hero. I don't know why they're opting for the Zenyatta. Like, it's strange to me that they think that Zenyatta is that good or that they feel like it's better than nano boosting Who Are You? Or even nano boosting 
What's his name? Zumba. So, I don't know. I mean, that was a good map for Meta Athena. Like, they played it very well, but... Like, a Roadhog would be so good. I, it's just like, they're forcing their heroes really hard, but... I don't know if it's paying off. 